So before we get into today's video, I want to say that I'm not trying to hate on Pac or Jesse Cotton or any players in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community in general. This is just something I've seen come up on Pac's channel and a couple other places that I want to address before it becomes a bigger issue than what it already is, and hopefully it'll pass with enough time, but I just want this to be known Please don't think I'm hating on Pac. Don't be going to someone else's channel and sending them, hey, I think Pac is a cool player. He seems like a cool dude. I've never met him. He seems like a great guy. He's got a lot of accolades. So please don't take any of this like I'm trying to hate on people. This is just my thoughts on this situation. So keep that in mind as you watch this video. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1100 ladder. We are almost at 1200 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, I am using gameplay for this video for a change because my voice is still nearly gone and I look like death and sound like I deep throated a cactus. So, have fun with that image. So something I've been seeing in deck profiles lately has been really putting me on tilt. And it's not just Pack; it's been other people on YouTube too. I've even seen it on Carlancho store on Facebook when they post pictures of decks that top. And that's people not showing their side decks. Now, for those of you who don't know, we are currently technically in national season. So from May 6th to June 4th, there are national championships going on around the world. We also have the YCS in Chile this weekend and then the YCS in Philadelphia the weekend after. So because of all these events, people don't wanna show their side decks because they don't want to show their spice or whatever they think is spice but here's the problem with that though a deck like purely which is the primary deck i've seen people not showing their side decks with is very cookie cutter you play the same 22 to 23 cards you play three of pretty much every purely card except you play one purely leap and one fucking field spell and then the rest of your deck is hand traps and whatever sub engine you want to play be it the crystal beast package or dark world package or whatever and this is why this pisses me off because someone like me who's trying to get ideas for my purely build i end up wasting my time watching these deck profiles that don't have a fucking side deck and i'm out here trying to prepare for a regional if you aren't prepared to show your entire deck list and i'm going to hold myself to this too don't show your deck list don't do a fucking deck profile i get it if you have a big following you want to get that ad revenue but pack someone like you with your following you could easily make a community or twitter post and say hey guys i came in fifth place with purely at my regional but with philly around the corner i don't want to show the build yet and I think people would be understanding of that instead of saying like, oh, here's my build, but you don't get to see my side. Now, luckily, at least I haven't seen this yet. People aren't coming on YouTube and saying, here's my deck list. But if you want the side deck and combo videos, you got to donate to my Patreon. That's some baby back bullshit that I will never do. All my ad revenue helps pay for my cancer treatment, as I've said before. So I have no plans to do some scum shit like that. And I'm not saying everyone who tops must do a deck profile. Some people don't feel comfortable being on camera or may feel their build is inadequate. It's different if you get one of those ass hats who's like, oh yeah, bro, I did so good. My opponents are trash. <laughs> oh, but uh, I, I can't show you my build. I, I, can't, I can't be doing all that. It's, it's too much spice. Now to me, if they act like that, I call into question their integrity because how do you know, especially if they're acting like that, that they didn't stack or cheat in some way. I am primarily talking about people who want to show off their deck list, but then all because in events around the corner, they don't want to show off their side. And to me, it's like, bro, do you really think showing off your side is going to matter in a big event like a YCS or a Nationals that will have most likely at least a thousand plus people and you just so happen to play against someone who saw your side? Like, bro, that, that's way too much overthinking. Like, don't even show your build at that point. Like, honestly, if you're worried about that, just don't even show the fucking deck list. Wait until after the event. Tell people that you want to keep it under wraps, and that's fine. Especially in an age in 2023 where formats can change on a dime from week to week instead of like back in the day, like 2007, 2008 with Glyre Beast and Teledad when those things were tier zero and you didn't have the unofficial simulators like you do now. The format would maybe change from month to month you know, if that, like there, there weren't a whole lot of changes like you see now. Information and knowledge can travel so quick that like it's pointless to keep shit under wraps anymore. Like, and, and the word spice is so subjective. Like when I played that 60 card branded Eldritch deck that some dude in Europe topped with at his nationals, he was playing the great double casted caster in his extra deck with super poly in his main because double casted caster was a super poly target against fucking sword soul. Keep in mind that this was back when, uh, branded was at full power or rather branded was a tier one deck and sword soul was a tier one deck and, uh, Flunderese was a tier one deck. They had just came out. 
So it was a great out to them to where they would just be left with tokens on their board while they were trying to do shenanigans. But like, if you're not doing something like that, then to me, is it really spice? Like if you're playing a pointer in your side, that's not spice. If you're playing the destructive karma cannon trap card, that's not spice. If you're playing the perform a pal rainbow magician, that's not spice. But again, all that shit's fucking subjective. So like, I feel like it's just semantics at that point. Like, if you're not going to show the side, just don't do the video. Like, again, I went on Carlancho's store, saw a purely build. Homeboy didn't want to show off his side. Like, why the fuck are you giving out your build if you don't want to show your side? You can argue that there is some information to glean from the extra deck because the extra deck is a little bit malleable, but the majority of it's still the same. You play two of every purely exceed sometimes, depending on your build. You play one downer, double Zeus. You play the Kiki Nagashki Fuko monster you play assembled nightingale and then you either play princess sprite or ensemble robin like is there really any fucking variance at that point like no the spice if you will comes in from seeing the side what is it that they are playing to beat the meta in those games two and three because if you go first or purely you're probably going to win game one especially if the opponent doesn't open something like droll now pack did say in his deck profile that was like almost 20 fucking minutes long and he waited until like the 19 minute mark to say oh i'm not showing my side um that's also aggravating. Just say it at the beginning of the video, please, Pack. I'm begging you. And this goes for everybody. Um, but he mentioned how he forgot to side deck in his side frame driver. He side decked in the gammas, but not the driver. So you can glean from that, okay, he's side decking a gamma package, but that's fucking it. And to me, it's like, could you imagine if when I showed off that Dark Magician deck that got top 8 at a regional, like, what was it, two or three weeks ago, that I just decided, you know what, I'm going to take out the side deck from this video and just show the main and extra. And then I'm just making the video being like, hey, guys, I took out the side deck because I didn't feel like fucking showing it to you. Like, that is the equivalent of getting a Baconator at Wendy's. And they give you the burger, and then they're like, you don't get the bread. Like, you just don't get the bun. It's like, fuck you, bitch. Give me the buns. Like, yeah, the burger's going to be good, but you want to enjoy it in its entirety. Like, I know that sounds really stupid, but, like, it's, it's the honest-to-God truth. Like, either show me all of it or don't show it at all and don't waste the person's time. Because from a content creator's perspective you're wasting your time not showing off everything like nobody can glean anything from a main and extra like there's no fucking point to watch the video and like if it's something that's new like like for example pure we get purely lily cyberstorm access is brand new and you say you know hey guys i don't have a side it's still brand new i'm testing fine mention that at the beginning of the video show off the main and extra boom done like you're good to go or if you are testing with a side be like hey here's the main and extra Here's things that I'm testing with on the side. I can give you one right now. Three Lightning Storm, three Dark Ruler, three Evenly Match, uh, maybe three Lava Golem, like there, a three-dimensional barrier. Like, there you go. There is a template of a side deck that you can use for any deck that you don't have a fucking side deck for because those cards are just generically that good. So, I, it just, it, it really bothers me, man. I, maybe I'm the only one in it, but like I saw a comment on another person's deck profile where they shit off purely and they're like, oh, I'm not going to show my side because, you know, nationals is a thing. It's like, really? You think someone is going to see your deck profile and then they're going to prepare just for you? Like, no, that's way too much overthinking at that point. Like, who gives a shit? Um, but someone had commented on that particular video and was like, wow, another purely deck profile where someone doesn't show the side. So it's happening with a lot of purely builds. And maybe it's not just purely. Maybe it's also happening with Super Heavy Samurai deck profiles. And I'm just not seeing those because I'm not watching deck profiles of Super Heavy Samurai. I could be wrong. But to me, it's like, unless it's like a retro format where the side deck can kind of be whatever. Like if it's like GOAT format and you're showing off a build, like, yeah, the side deck's going to depend on your local area. But if it's something like a 2023 meta deck, you got to show it all, man. Like, I, I don't know why people are suddenly that concerned with it just because we're in a national season. So again, in my humble opinion, if you're not going to show off the side or even like if for whatever reason you're going to like say, hey, hey, here's the main and side and I'm not going to show you the extra. If you're not going to show it all, just don't even do a deck profile. I understand like if you're a big YouTuber and you got a lot of subscribers, you want to get that ad revenue because you topped a regional. Good for you, Sugar Boo Bear. But... I just, I think it's just wrong. I think that you should be showing it all off. And again, if you're really that concerned before you're going into an event because little Timmy saw your deck profile, so they build a fucking anti-purely deck just to beat you and it will beat you even if you side deck. <laughs>
<laughs> like, I feel like that's just trying way too hard, man. I feel like that's just way too much overthinking. But like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, I'm not trying to hate on Pac. It's just, it's been something I've seen, not just from him, but from several other outlets. And it's just really fucking annoying. Just show off your build. And if you don't want to, I totally get it. But don't do a deck profile of it. And, and if you don't have a side, at least say at the beginning of the video, hey guys, I don't want to show a side. If that bothers you, thanks for watching. Then I can click off. Or I don't have to scroll all the way through to the end to see if you show your side. So guys, I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I want to make that clear. Just these are my thoughts on the whole situation. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.